Hey everyone, John Hartley. Early wet morning here. Second cup of coffee. Still can't face today. Mm. But it is good coffee. I got two boxes in the mail today. And we are going to start with the bigger one. And this is an awfully big box for one coin. But you will understand shortly. This uh, is a set that came out in 2014 and I paid no attention to it. And um, then last year they uh sorry about that hit my tripod last year they um did the uh native american dollar in a low mintage And um, coin, and I've not paid attention to them much because I don't think a whole lot about golden dollars, other than the fact that I collect coins and I got to have everything, or I'm not satisfied. So I went back to the first year that they made the enhanced uncirculated American coin and currency set and uh, I saw that it was expensive this one there were 50,000 of these sets made so I looked at it and everybody wanted way too much money for this coin and uh, I finally dollars Dollar bill's a bit off center. You can't tell because it's disappearing that way, but on the reverse, well, still can't tell. It's moved around in there. But I found this one at a very good price. He wanted $20 for it, but he said make an offer. So I put 15 in there and he refused. I put 16 in there, he refused. I put 17 in there, he refused. And then I put 18 in there, no response. So I said, oh well, he's tired of dealing with my silliness. And uh, I guess about an hour later, I went back to the computer and checked and he had accepted it. So, I will go ahead and get the rest of them now as I see them at a good price whenever the opportunity, I'm in no hurry. Um, but this set is looks good, the box is good, everything looks fine with it. So I'm happy with that. One more coin. One more coin. And this is the first mint set of the year. And they said they were going to put the uh, West Point nickel in a better, um, 
they were going to ship it better so there's less chance of damage. Last year they just threw it in the box in that plastic wrapper and I was like, oh good, but when I first read it I was like, good, they're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, they're going to, uh, they're going to do something like they did with the West Point Dime, in which they currently, st I know they still have the, uh, the um, ability to do so because the I believe if you buy the uncirculated version of the Buffalo Gold, it comes in that same type of uh, almost like a shrink wrap hard plastic to protect the coin. But they said they were just going to put it in an envelope inside this box so that it didn't get damaged. So let's see what they did. And it's in there, but it's stuck down underneath the styrofoam insert. And I can see already that the uh, envelope is somewhat bent. It doesn't look like it's creased. But, all right, well, we'll save the nickel and get into the uh, regular proof set. These are, these are for, for my album, albums, and uh, this is just the regular proof set, not the silver proof set. But there's a smudge on my nickel, and I don't think that it is on the plastic. Lovely, lovely. I'll take my finger and just sort of, when I take it out of here, just sort of wipe that off nice and firmly. You know I'm joking. Not too bad of a design for the Native American dollar this year. I see no glaring errors. Well, I always when I get <clears throat> a new mint set in, I look a lot closer at them. And, uh, Forgot to show you the COA if anybody wants to read it. Leave it there just long enough for it to get focused. And if you feel like reading it, just pause the video. Alright, and the quarters. All look really nice. Yeah, real nice. I don't see any specks of or anything like that. I've been waiting to get one of these bats. American Samoa. I think it's kind of cool coin. Never seen a bat on a coin before. I like the design of this one with the uh, young, I guess it's a girl, planting a tree. And I've heard some people say they didn't like the uh, tall grass prairie with just the butterfly and the, and the grass blowing in the wind. But I kind of like it. Kind of kind of a peaceful design it's uh you know it's not too busy like some things are it's just nice and peaceful and it reminds me of the breast cancer awareness coins um their butterfly there so and I like those coins I got the whole set of proof when that came out 
Alrighty. Same old piece of plastic for the West Point nickel. And it moves around in there. And you have to move it so you can see it. And I'm not impressed with the finish on this one. It's not a highly mirrored finish. At least not inside this package. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know. Just that doesn't look great to me. That, what do y'all think? Tell me what you think. That nickel just does not look up to quality standards of the mirrored fields of United States coins. Looks, looks like some third world country or at least second world country attempt at a proof coin. No, I don't like this at all. The mint could do better. There again, they could do better with the design they picked for the new obverse. It's not new anymore. They had three obverses to choose from when they were going back to the Monticello reverse. And they picked the ugliest of the three designs. I like the new profile one, the one, the uh, profile that had it was a, a larger head that fit on the side of the coin. You, if you don't remember, look at the three different ones when they did the uh, Westford Journey series of coins. But y'all, that's disappointing. It's, I mean, I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. I mean, compared to that mirrored feel, which is just, any way you look at it, it's just black from the mirrored image. And this is not. It's kind of hazy. And compare it To the regular nickel. There's there's a definite difference there. Well that sucks. I wonder if the reverse proof is gonna be ugly. And circulate, uh, the only way they could mess that up was is a misstrike, but this is just definitely not up to the standards of the United States Mint. It is not a good issue. Not at all. I'm not happy. But it's a free coin, I know, but still, if they're going to do stuff like that, do your best at it. I mean, when that started coming out of the machines, who could have been satisfied with that? You look at that and say, oh, well, it's all right. Let's go ahead and put it out. No. I think I'm going to tell the mint what I feel about it. Actually, I'm going to wait and see a few. On yeah, if you get if you if you do videos and you get this set. Show us what your nickels look like. Maybe I just got a bad one. I don't know. That's just not up to par at all. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, promise you something nice and they give you something that's kind of Halfway there. Well, 
aside from that, aside from that, I have got my federal and state income tax coming back. Matter of fact, the uh, federal just hit direct deposit today. I checked it uh, this morning when I checked my email and um, my federal refund hit my bank account. So waiting on my state and then I've got my eye on an early commemorative, believe it or not. Yeah, John Hartley by, by an early commemorative. Usually with my state refund, um, you know, it's not part of my regular budget, so I use it for, to buy me a present, you know? And I bought a Gettysburg one year with the state, with my tax refund. And this year I'm looking at one that's a little bit more expensive than the, uh, in the Gettysburg. And I'm looking at, I get, there's two or three of them on eBay that I've looked at that are, are all acceptable. One of them in particular I like. So that will probably be the next coin that I order, but that it may be a while because I've only got part of my refund back and I'm not gonna do it until I get all of my refund in. So, <clears throat> That's all for today, so if you would please click that subscribe nickel on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you give me a thumbs down, other than about that ugly nickel, tell me what you didn't like about the video. And please leave a comment, I like reading all your comments and I try to reply to all of them. And until that early commemorative comes in, I'm 1042.